right what's up guys this is hardik here and this is my setup slash desk tour for 2020 so starting off with the desk itself it is a custom made white matte desk that i got made when i moved into this place which was like around 4 years back or so and it has been serving me pretty good the only thing i regret about this desk is it is a wall mounted one so cable management is really an hassle uh but yeah i had to drill down couple of holes in the desk itself to pass my cables and stuff other than that it has been working pretty fine and it still looks as fresh as it did on day 1 so yeah so let's begin with the left hand side of the desk so on the left wall as you can see i have a poster from star wars which says surrender to the dark side and on the left of it i have this avenger band that i got when i visited the event for avengers end game in india but on top of it i've got couple of batteries as you can see uh, ranging from nexus 5 to the oneplus 1 One. and also there's a floppy disk for some reason but yeah adjacent to it on the wall itself i've got a wall decal i think i got it from ebay for like very cheap and uh, yeah it says loading Also if you guys want to buy anything or if you're interested in this stuff I'll post the link to buy them in the description box below so if you're interested just do check it out but below that as you can see I've got two posters uh one from my favorite music producer Daft Punk and the second is just a Spider-Man poster and I am a huge Spider-Man fan that you'll get to know in the later part of the video itself so yeah on the Spider-Man poster I've got two sticky notes both of them from d brand and i think they're quite funny so just below it as you can see starting from the stuff on the desk itself i've got the mi or let's say xiaomi mi light it has got three brightness levels so one is very dim one is a brighter one and then you have a white colored one but i like to keep it on dim yellow because that really suits the desk itself it's not too bright it's not too low but on the lamp itself i've got a spiderman prop uh, so as i said i am a huge spiderman fan so there is just a prop of spiderman on the lamp itself just to give it a bit of a color because it's all plain white uh, then i have these three fake plants from ikea again links will be in the description box below if you are interested in it but these fake plants you know they really provide a bit of a natural taste to the desk itself if i just remove these plants uh, my desk looks incomplete without them so yeah these give me a quite natural look to the desk itself and yeah so because of that i do have a lot of fake plants not only on my desk but also across my house itself then on my desk as you can see there is this wireless charger for my iphone 10r uh, it is a fast charger and but for that you will also need a fast charging adapter but yeah it gets the job done and it works quite good as well so sometimes i just pop my phone on the wireless charger itself and it gets the work done so yeah it does charge my phone faster than the smaller 5 watt adapter so yeah i am pretty happy with it then on the desk uh, i have this huge mouse pad and on it i have my airpods my google home a uh, keyboard mouse and the handrest So starting with the AirPods itself uh, these are the first gen AirPods I got this pretty cheap when they were on sale so yeah I'm not complaining they work quite good and yeah I am pretty happy with the purchase itself then I have the Google Home which is again the first gen home uh, and yeah it works pretty fine I have a couple of devices linked to my Google Home which are basically smart home devices so I can just say the hot word and to turn on or turn off things and it will do the same itself i have got three smart switches at my place so these are from sonoff and uh, i think i've got them from amazon as well so the link will be in the description box below so i have three of them connected to my google home so if i just say the hot word google and followed by turn off the bedroom lights it will turn all the three lights off as you can see and uh, if you want to turn it on you can just say google and just say turn on the lights so it will turn on the lights and it will be right back at you uh then i have this keyboard from red dragon this is a mechanical keyboard and i got this because this was the only one cheaper good quality <laughs> mechanical keyboard that i could find on amazon so yeah it's been working quite good for me and i really do like the clicking noise of the keyboard itself 
then on the keyboard itself i have a hand rest for the keyboard this again i think i've got it from ebay uh, and yeah i've been using this a lot and as you can see it has gone through a lot of wear and tear uh, within the couple of years of use but yeah this without this the keyboard looks quite incomplete in my opinion so yeah i do have it just to protect or just to provide some support to my hand itself then on the mouse pad i have the logitech g102 mouse uh, which has been working quite well but recently uh, the left click is like acting weird so even if i click once it registers the click twice so that's that's the issue i've been having with the mouse and yeah i'm planning of replacing this with a new version of the mouse itself uh, then on the desk on the right hand side i have the charger from my moto 360 so it is a wireless charger and it gets the work done i am still using my moto 360 gen 1 as my smartwatch choice and yeah i am still loving it it is the perfect smartwatch and basically the perfect looking smartwatch till date so yeah i have been using it till now and uh, yeah it has been working quite well no lags whatsoever then on the right as you can see i have got couple of posters as well one is of youtube one is of nvidia and then I've got two unused DDR3 RAMs on it. Uh, these RAMs serve no purpose, they are dead. So that is the reason why I've put it on the wall itself. So now coming on to the main point or the main part of this desk is the monitor. So it is the LG 34UM67. It is a 34 inch monitor, wide screen 21 is to 9. And I also bought this like four to five years back when like before moving into this place and it has been running quite fine. I have got no complaints with this monitor because all the movie watching experience and everything just works pretty pretty fine. Just one thing is this monitor is not that color accurate but with few of the tweaks you can get it to almost perfect but other than that i like the fact that it is a matte monitor so no reflections on the screen and yeah 60 hertz refresh rate which you can overclock and i have done as well i've overclocked this monitor to 75 hertz and yeah it has been running quite fine for me as well then above the monitor as you can see i have a couple of flags uh this i got when i went to the dark and i like the flags because they provide a bit of a color to the desk itself again as i said my wall is white my desk is white so i wanted like something to provide a bit of a contrast to this desk so these flags just do that and it provides a bit of a color to the desk itself then for my speaker of choice i have the f and d speakers i forgot the model name for these but i'll be sure to provide a link in the description box below for this these are the best speakers in the budget range i think i got it for like 3100 bucks or something like that and yeah they are pretty pretty fine uh, i have got a woofer at the bottom and these are the two speakers on the top the bass is quite good the volume is amazing it's too loud uh, so yeah i definitely recommend you guys if you want to see or buy these speakers because these are the best in the budget and yeah it fits quite well to the desk itself then as you can see i have got these two holes in my desk one is just to pass the led and my monitor hdmi cables and stuff like that onto the monitor and another one is in my desk itself just to pass my keyboard my mouse and my charger and the home and basically every cable that i have on the desk just down below and then by going down as you can see the cable management is i think quite good in my opinion i did the best i could and i haven't changed this particular cable management in like two to three years or so so i have like sticked each of my cable with double sided tape or a cello tape or like a clip that i bought from ebay and if you just see this desk from the front you will not be able to see any cable inside only if you go down below you'll be able to see all the cables but i think i've done a good job of the cable management and there's no visible cable if you actually see it from above then coming on to my pc uh this is like a four year old pc the specs i have running is the i7 6700k a gtx 1070 founders edition then i have 16 gigs of ram i've got a 500 gig m.2 drive on the motherboard and the motherboard of choice is the the asus z170 gaming motherboard and for the cpu cooler i have the corsair h100i 
GTX liquid cooler and it has been keeping my temps pretty low so yeah I have got no complaints in that as well so yeah this is basically the PC of choice and it still runs a lot of high end games pretty fine without any lags and also it helps me edit my videos quite soon so that is the PC of choice and for my headphones of choice I have got these cheap gaming red gear headphones uh, these are no longer available on Amazon but I'll be sure to leave a link again for this in the description box below for when it is available but uh, yeah they work quite fine and I've also got a headphone hanger which uh, again I think I've got from Amazon itself so yeah it's right there and I barely use it like only while playing games and nothing else so they do work fine while gaming and stuff it also has an inbuilt mic with it so that is also pretty pretty good so yeah this is basically my setup tour for 2020 if you have any questions regarding my desk tour uh, do shoot me a dm on instagram but yeah this is basically my setup and if you like it make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you don't make sure to give it a dislike as well and also do let me know what all modifications you guys could prefer on my desk itself i am basically open for suggestions so yeah that is pretty much it this is my setup tour and yeah if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in my next one